As the war between light and darkness continues, heroes and villains become harder to identify. I'm going to show you a really cool app called Satellite Eyes, um, and it's free, and it takes a picture, no, it doesn't take a picture, but it finds your location, and it'll update to your background how often you want it to update. So I thought that was kind of cool, like, you know, if you're kind of on the go, it'll just kind of find you on a satellite map, and I'm just put the picture right there. So to get it, uh, go link in the description, and this is the website. Just kind of scroll down a little bit and then click right here. Download version 1.1.2. There might be a newer version. You should watch this video a little bit later, but just click whatever download is there. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So once you get it, you're going to want to go to your uh, little Apple logo up here and go to System Preferences. And you want to go to Security and Privacy, and then go to this Privacy tab. And then you're going to uncheck this lock, type in your password, and then um, check mark Enable Location Services. And make sure that the satellite eyes isn't open up here, like it might be right there. The little triangle, if it is, click on it and click Exit. And then check mark Enable Location Services. Satellite eyes will not be there yet, but then once you go and open it, it's back up here, and then it'll appear right here, and it'll be check marked, and then you're fine. And then, so you're done with system preferences. So up here, this little black triangle. You can go ahead and click Open Preferences, and then I found the best map is the Bing Aerial, which is default. And um, you can run it at the startup if you want to, like when you turn on your computer. And then you can have a street or a neighborhood, like the zoom level, to see how far away it'll do it. And it's it's pretty fast. I mean, not super fast, but pretty good. You can change it to your city. Sorry. Um, change it to your city or your neighborhood or your entire region. It just kind of depends on what you want it to be and how close you want it to be. And just kind of what look you like best. It might just kind of depend on where you are. And then you can change the effects. You can have it pixelate. Or you can have it um, half tone. And yeah, I just I like the Bing Aerial, and I like it to be on the uh, city and the image effect being none. But that's just me. And they update how often you want it to, you know, say map update less than five seconds ago, or whenever you want it to be. And whenever you know it's searching for your location or using it, this little arrow will be up here and letting you know that it is using your location. Alright, so thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the video, please comment, rate, subscribe, 